Hello everyone, good afternoon. Hope you had a wonderful morning. Here I am again. Today I am starting another series on mathematical optimization. Uh, optimization has, uh, it has so much of use and uh, its optimization techniques are used in many disciplines, many day-to-day -day life uh, situations. It is a very important subject. So, let us start. Uh, let us first look at it. Some of the uh, applications where uh, you may find the uh, optimization problem. Portfolio optimization. You might have heard a portfolio term or um, people who manage money, say mutual fund manager or hedge fund manager or just a trader. So let's say what is the problem here? Let's say you have uh, say hundreds of companies, you have a portfolio where uh, you want to uh, invest money, but you have only limited amount of money. But you have choice where I can invest. Every company, they have, uh, every company is a stock, they have different uh, constraints, different factors. You yourself has constraint. First constraints, for example, you have limited money. Second, every uh, stock is volatile, so how much risk you can take. Uh, so there are other sort of constraints come into picture. You, ca you can't, let's say you, you put, say, out of $1 billion, you put, uh, say, $1 million in this company, $10 million in this company, depending upon um, how much return uh, you want or how much risk appetite you have uh, or, for example, let's say uh, you just uh, you just select uh, only ten companies and you just decide to uh, invest money in those ten companies. But still, you would have to look at it where I can put my money, how much money I can put, so that my year-end profit can be maximized. It's another kind of optimization problem. Another interesting problem, uh, device sizing in electronic circuits. Those who are familiar with electronic design or a chip design, they can understand in a better way, but those who are not familiar, just for an introduction, that uh, there are tiny uh, elements, we call it electronic uh, devices or uh, transistor when uh, we design circuits and then we design layout, we need to find out what is the optimum layout uh, for a given area so that we can have higher performance, low power and uh, you know various other physical constraints. Now these constraints you know if you increase the area you get more performance but then at the same time you lose more power. Um, so it's kind of you know different constraints and uh, you need to optimize the device size that uh, so that you can get good performance and low power within your power budget and so on. So again optimization problem whether we are minimizing something or maximizing something it turns out to be an optimization, some kind of optimization. Another example is like, for example, you are a salesperson. Uh, you have been given limited time and limited budget, and you have been told that you have to take a tour of different cities. Different cities have uh, different costs associated with it, and your goal is to minimize your cost and you travel all the cities. It turned out to be a traveling salesman problem. You are kind of minimizing or maximizing, minimizing the cost there or certain kind of optimization you are performing. Another example, profit maximization. Every company, they try to maximize their profits uh, subject to different constraints that, okay, we have only this much limited output, firm's output, uh, we have this much budget, we have these many orders, 
uh, how we can optimize the profit. As a household, you also optimize in some way, uh, let's say for example, you take a decision that you want to buy a house or a car depending upon the availability or depending upon the, the budget constraint you have. Condition of affordability or say you have 10 cars, you want to choose one and you kind of you want to optimize that at the year end I want to save this much, much money. So you want to maximize your savings yet fulfilling your desire of buying a car or a house. So there are various other uh, problems, various other situations, various other applications for optimization problems. How do we solve that optimization? It's an interesting thing. So if we want to solve anything, we turn our attention to mathematics. Mathematics is just so wonderful. It's so easy. It's just need you need to pay attention to it. Hope you would understand step by step that how easy it is. First, we need to identify what is the problem. So we got some applications, so let's try to find out what is the problem. Let's try to define what is the optimization problem. As I said earlier, an optimization problem is a very simple problem that you need to find a solution which optimizes, either maximizes or minimizes a given objective under several constraints. If you do not have constraint, it will become unconstrained optimization. But in general, uh, you have constraints. In mathematical notation, you can define, you know, maximize or minimize your objective function f x with subject to different function let's say g x less than b i which is a constant for any i 1 to n. So function f o x is called objective function and then you would call g i x a constraint functions. So there may be one constraint there may be multiple constraints and you want to optimize your objective function value. Isn't it simple? It's very simple. Now here x can be a vector, can be just one variable, can be a stochastic variable, can be expectation. Accordingly, your method of finding the solution will vary, will be different. Let's say if your function fx is of concave shape, it's a con concave optimization or fx is convex shape, it falls into the convex optimization or your function fx is for, sort of is falling under the category of stochastic process or in, a pro uh, in the nature of it is of probabilistic function. Then you are kind of finding a solution for that kind of problem. A basic principle is simple. You need to either minimize or maximize a given function or a given objective subject to various constraints. Let's see another uh, example. You see this, gr this graph. You can represent it y equal to fx. Now for this what is the optimization problem? Or let's say if I ask you what is the maxima at which point in x direction the value of the function y equal to fx is maximum. Now as it is seen you may say okay this is maxima but this is maxima only for certain value in x, but this may be maxima too. 
this may be maxima 2, 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 this may be maxima 2. So, all these points can fall under local maxima. But the question is what is the maxima of this function is starting from this point to this point or in other words we want to find what is the global maximum good. Now as you see you can see you can observe this graph and you can see okay this point is maximum. But how to compute it? How the computer can solve it or how you can write an algorithm to solve this problem. Now this is a simple example where you have one dimensional function f x you know uh, taking arbitrary values you can put certain constraints. If you do not put any constraints what is the typical thing here? Now you can say ok if I take the derivative of this function with respect to x and equal to 0 I get the maxima, but that derivative equal to 0 would be here too at all these points. Then you say I take the second derivative and if the value is negative I conclude that that is my global maxima, but that is for simple problem. Now how to compute it by computer or how to write an algorithm or you know uh, it falls under the computational uh, optimization problem. So, we are going to study uh, these how to solve optimization problem under different scenarios in this lecture series. Thank you. I hope you have liked this introductory video on optimization problem. And do not forget to subscribe to the Professor YouTube channel. Hope to see you again. If you need private lessons, tuitions, you may contact me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you again.